What up everybody? Meteor is great. Fantastic even, but not on its own. But it is the best Sork skill, I think at least, for the Zafal's Corroded Signet scaling. Thematically and visually, this build is just, I mean, it's so cool. Look at this. <laughs> you feel like the, a herald of Ragnarok or some shit. The Meteors themselves don't deal all that much damage, but have insane utility and the highest lucky hit chance you can get with Sork, and it applies damage over time in its base skill, meaning Zafal's is ready to get scaled without any bending over backwards in order to apply damage over time effects through different means. The Meteors themselves, again, do fine damage damage after some decent investment and building into, but the Zafal's procs were somehow doing like a 1.2 million damage when I didn't even mean to focus on scaling them. And I had to, when I was watching the footage is when I saw those numbers because I was like, wait, what? I was like, what is going on here? This is so confusing. Meteor legitimizes the falls as a whole build in and of itself, particularly on single target enemies. You can reliably proc the falls damage AOE effect. In this video, I actually have 70% lucky hit chance with Meteor and that's without like min maxing it to as far as it could go. Using Meteor here, just by itself without the falls, you'll have a hard time getting it to hit like 500k's even when you're using a staff. But the falls will be proccing for millions after like an equal amount of work, so it, it's just nuts. If you use Godslayer's Crown, Tibalt's Will, and Talrosh's Ring alongside the falls, you're going to have some dummy fucking damage happening. Oh my god, and it looks so cool. You have a ton of immobilize from the meteor passive itself if you want, but definitely from the meteorite aspects coupled together. Your mana is tough to deal with and you may not even have enough with Tibalts. I think everyone playing this build absolutely has to take three points into Fiery Surge, the Unleashed Glyph, and Enhanced Ice Armor while looking for mana cost reduction on your gear while also utilizing the Chain Lightning Enchantment, Invigorating Conduit Passive, and if you want to cast more but do less damage, putting Recharging Aspect on instead of Taurash's Ring. Getting levels to Mastery Skills or Meteor itself don't do all that much and luckily meteor levels are found on pants so Tibalt's is just going to be much better but if you don't have access to Tibalt's or plus to meteors on pants it's not that big of a deal so don't even sweat it you'll be strong enough without it but without Tibalt's you definitely have to use recharging aspect instead of Tarash's ring in order to have enough resource to cast it a lot I didn't want to spend too much time or resources investing into this build because it's not really a meteor build but as a falls build instead but I did do enough testing to know if you build it right, it's probably almost S tier, to be honest. Yeah, I would say, yeah, like S tier. High A tier at minimum. Its survivability is really good because everything burns because you're using the meteorite aspects and then also meteor itself has the AOE field that burns enemies. And so warmth is actually gonna keep you alive a lot. And then when you get a lot of damage reduction from burning enemies from your Paragon board or from certain affixes on your gear, you're gonna be insanely tanky. You're gonna have good CC in the guaranteed immobilizes. So you'll be able to do high tier nightmare dungeons reliably because remember, good CC, sustain, and tankiness are all integral to be able to push the highest tier content in the game. And when you're looking forward into the future, when they add Abattoir of Zir, type content where it's like nigh infinite in difficulty you're really going to appreciate builds like this that incorporate all those pieces together in a way that makes sense and in a way that's natural to do so this has been a more laid back casual video today since it's not a true meteor build but rather the best zafal's build on sork so it wasn't too interesting to me but i i thought you guys might want to know so here's all that info right yeah thank you stay safe everybody I appreciate you.